Greetings everyone. A group of brilliant researchers has recently published a new research paper that enables AI to learn physically simulated tennis skills from broadcast videos. Today I am excited to share their paper's amazing supplementary video in 4K super upscaled format. I have obtained permission from the primary author of the paper and you can also find the link to the paper in the video's description. In this paper, we present a system that allows physically simulated characters to learn diverse and complex tennis skills from broadcast tennis videos. Our simulated characters can hit consecutive incoming tennis balls with a variety of tennis skills such as serve, forehand and backhand, topspin, and slice. And the motions we generate resemble those of human players. The controllers can also be trained using different players' motion data, enabling the characters to adopt different playing styles. Motion capture has been the most common source of motion data for character animation. While mocap is able to record high quality data, it can be difficult to use these systems to record athletic motion, which can require large capture volumes and highly skilled actors. On the other hand, human athletes are frequently recorded in videos, especially for sports. These videos have the potential to be a valuable source of data for character animation by providing a vast volume of inactivity data of a highly specialized athletic motion. Despite being large scale, the motion estimated from videos are usually in lower quality compared to mocap data. While prior works have demonstrated learning skills from videos, they are limited to reproducing short video clips. State-of-the-art data-driven animation techniques typically require high quality motion data. Directly applying these methods to video data may not produce natural human-like motions, and motions may not be precise enough to hit incoming tennis balls close to desired locations. To enable characters to learn skills from sports videos, we present a video imitation system that consists of four stages. First, we estimate kinematic motions from source video clips. Secondly, a low-level imitation policy is trained to imitate the kinematic motion for controlling the low-level behaviors of the simulated character and generate physically corrected motion. Next, we fit conditional VAEs to the corrected motion to learn a motion embedding that produces human-like tennis motions. Finally, a high-level motion planning policy is trained to generate target kinematic motion from the motion embedding and then control a physically simulated character to perform a desired task. To build our tennis motion dataset from raw videos, we use a combination of 2D and 3D pose estimators to reconstruct the player's poses and root trajectories. However, the estimated kinematic motions are pretty noisy, with jittering and foot skating artifacts. More importantly, the wrist motion for controlling the racket is inaccurate, since it is difficult to estimate the wrist or the racket motion due to occlusion and motion blur. To address these artifacts, we train a low-level imitation policy to control a physically simulated character to track these noisy kinematic motions and output physically corrected motions. The resulting motions after correction are more physically plausible and stable compared to the original kinematic motions. With the corrected motion dataset, we can construct a kinematic motion embedding by fitting conditional VAEs to the motion data. Given the same initial pose, diverse motions can be generated by sampling different trajectories of latent Z. An additional benefit of the motion embedding is that it can help smooth the motions and mitigate some of the jittering artifacts in the original motion data. To address the inaccuracies in the wrist joint for precise control of the racket, we propose a hybrid control structure where the full body motion is controlled by the reference trajectories from the motion embedding, while the wrist motion is directly controlled by the high level policy. 
With our system, various tennis skills can be learned such as serve, forehand topspin, backhand topspin, and backhand slice. These skills are learned using data from a right-handed player who used a one-hand backhand. The simulated character can hit fast-coming tennis balls with diverse and complex skills. When given a target spin direction, such as a backspin, the character will hit the ball with a slice. Here, we visualize the skills with the character model used in our physics simulation. The simulated characters can hit incoming tennis balls close to random target locations with high precision. They can hit the same incoming tennis ball to various target locations or hit different incoming tennis balls to the same target. In the extreme cases, the simulated characters can still complete the task with exceptional skill, such as hitting consecutive balls that land on the court edges. When constructing the motion embedding with different players' motion, the simulated character can learn tennis skills in different styles, such as a two-hand backhand swing learned using data from a right-handed player who used a two-hand backhand, or holding the racket with the left hand learned using data from a left-handed player who also used a two-hand backhand. The learned controllers can further generate novel animations of tennis rallies between two players. This rally is generated using controllers learned from two right-handed players. This rally is generated using controllers learned from a left-handed player and a right-handed player. The physics correction is essential for constructing a good motion embedding for generating natural tennis motions. Directly training the embedding from the uncorrected kinematic motions will result in physically implausible motion that exhibits artifacts such as foot skating and jittering. It also decreases precision when hitting the tennis balls. The proposed hybrid control is crucial for precisely controlling the tennis racket. Without the hybrid control to correct the wrist motions, the simulated character may hit the ball, but fail to return it close to the target. More details are available in the paper. Thank you for watching.